Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Wade. We have some Hedera news in this video for you. I know it's been a while. Hedera has had a very sketchy eight to 12 months. However, development is still ongoing. This narrative in particular centered around Korean stable coins is something I've had my eye on for quite some time. As you can see here, Shinhan Bank SCB Tech conduct stablecoin trial on the, the Hedera public DLT network. This relationship goes back a couple years, all the way back to 2021. We reported on this story. Essentially, what Shinhan and Standard Bank came together to do on Hedera was see if DLTs could be used in the facilitation of stablecoin payments. Since 2021, there has been quite a lot of development. Now, I know what some may say, Hedera is a weak project, tokenomics suck, the foundation or the company is always dumping the tokens on us. Well, I have my own personal feelings about that. We'll touch on that in a second, but let's dive into what's going on now. And I'm also going to share this with you too. Korean regulator plans security token legislation as Shin Han forms an STO alliance. We're talking about security tokens. And if you know a couple things about Hedera, they have a company called Toko, DLA Piper. Yeah, they are security tokens firms. And that's exactly what they're looking for. So we have a number of things to discuss centered around Hedera. If you find value, of course, you know what to do. Let's get right into it. So Korea's Shinhan Bank and Siam Commercial Bank said that they completed a proof of concept to use staple coins on the Hedera public ledger. A major Taiwanese financial institution also participated, enabling cross-border remittances in real time foreign exchange in the Thai bot, Korean won, and the new Taiwan dollar. For Shihan, as we went over, it's the second DLT trial. They conducted a previous one with South Africa Standard Bank, both of which are still on the governing council. And as a matter of fact, I think they extended their term because remember, there's a term period to be on Hedera's governing council. I believe these are one of the first from the previous round to renew their membership. I'll have to double check that. But we have a quote here coming from Bayoon Kim, who leads blockchain development at Shinhan Bank. She says stable coins offer a low cost, fast and reliable way to transfer value across borders, which can help increase financial inclusion and improve access to financial services. So this is a narrative that we've heard before. There's really no need for me to read the rest of that quote. It is filled with all of the hot key terms that we see in the crypto space every day. What I did not see coming, though was just how deep this is reaching because what they want to do is not just create a stable coin that runs on Hedera. They want to be able to run all stable coins in and out of that era, uh, area using HBAR, which is very interesting. And again, the first thing people will tell you is, I don't care what they're doing, shitty tokenomics, I'm not gonna make any money. My thing with that is Hedera is the type of project that what I feel is going on with that token supply is centered around how they want the asset to be used. There's a heap ton of it. There's going to be a heap ton more to be released. But they're doing this to serve applications and pay for development. There will come a time when all of those tokens have hit the market or they've been burned off, however they look to do it in the future. There will come a time I'm looking at maybe 2027, 2028 at the latest, but that, 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 that rally is going to come for Hedera and it's because of small strategic developments like this one. Let's keep reading. Correspondent banking. This usually means banks have to keep accounts around the world to send payments with the stablecoin solution. They can use an intermediary such as a dollar stablecoin. Hence, each bank only needs to provide liquidity between its local currency and the dollar. Key word here, liquidity. And that's what they're gonna be using the DLT for. They also go into explaining a little bit of tokenization, which is gonna lead us into that last piece of the puzzle. For example, if someone in Korea wants to send money to Thailand, they can use a Shinhan Bank stablecoin. 
Shin Han might maintain a private liquidity pool with the USDC stablecoin, enabling the Korean won to be converted to dollars. In turn, if the SCB maintains a private liquidity pool between USDC and the Thai bot, the USDC stablecoin received can be converted back to that bot with each leg of the transaction costing a fraction of a cent. The payment transaction costs are tiny, so the real world charge comes down to the uh, foreign exchange margin, which I'm pretty sure they're finding another solution to address that. And then the last point they touch on is scalability issues when it comes to public blockchains and DLT, because Hedera also is super fast on its own and it's EVM compatible, meaning that you can run co smart contracts on it, but you can also make transactions without the need of smart contracts. Depending on which direction you're coming from, you'll either access the level of Hedera that is pushing out 300 transactions per second, or you can make use of, and they mention it here, Hedera's native token service, which can scale up to 10,000 transactions per second. So again, price says one thing tokenomics they say one thing utility it's saying something else now let me lay this last piece on you here korean regulator plan security token legislation as sheen han forms sto alliance this is going all the way back to february and what they're essentially looking to do is outline plans for new regulations around token securities. The wording it uses for security tokens are digital securities based on blockchain. Additionally, numerous industry participants are preparing for tokenization, including Shin Han, which announced plans for a new security token alliance. According to the FSC, existing regulations, including the Electronic Securities Act, would apply to token securities. But the legislation needs updating to apply them to tokenization expressly. In addition to tokenized stocks and bonds, the rules would also be relevant for tokenized real estate, art, and other assets. Couple things I want to drop in right here. DLA Piper, TOCO, they're using that application as part of the Universal Digital Payments Network, which was the last Hedera focused video I made on this channel. It's not because I'm, you know, I barely pay attention to HBAR, is that this is the pace that HBAR moves. And I'm not going to be out here like others who just keep feeding you the same nonsense over and over again. It's like, I understand you guys are <laughs> I'm pretty sure the majority of you are smarter than me. So I'm not going to I'm not going to play this game like that. However, what I have been noticing is Hedera has been leaning heavily into the tokenization field, period. And the reason why I bring up DLA Piper, Toco is because Korea is one of the markets that they serve. So what we have here forming in little old Korea is probably the hotbed of tokenization and examples in which DLT is being used for it. They're product testing at its finest, right? Now, continuing, according to Shin Han Investment and Securities, the STO Alliance will set standards and best practices. No other members have been announced at this current moment. But again, this was February. I'm sure if I did a little bit more digging, went to some Korean websites, use Google Translate, I could find out who those members are. At the same time, though, you have the Korea Exchange working on a securities depository to develop a digital stock market that they're looking to launch this year. So the whole game around securities and tokenization, it's real big in Korea. So to see Hedera still working in that area as quietly as it may be, that's good news. So if you're holding Hedera, I hope I gave you a little bit of positive energy to look forward to. I still believe it's a great project. As a matter of fact, I have a few videos on the channel that you might want to look at, especially if you're interested in hash pack, which I'm just going to have that pop up on the screen right here. Make it easy for you with that. That's all I got for this one. If you found value, of course, there are a few things I need you to do for me. Hit that like, subscribe, ring your notification bell so that way you don't miss the next one. And as always, have a great day. Have a prosperous day. And most importantly, if that money is digital, so is the hustle. I'm Wade Teamer. I'll see you in the next one.